Bob Ross and I here in the car to give you a car haul because quite honestly I've already opened one of these. I got it Sunday at uh, Park Avenue Thrift and everything was half price and I've already opened it but I had to share it and then after opening it I had to go back the next day to buy the ones that I did not buy. So they had these bags of like stuffed animals and they're usually like $4.94, $5.45, really expensive one, $6.56. And so I got two that were $5.45. So all together, since they're half price, there's 23 little animals or stuffies. And uh, it looks like 23 cents each. So I open it up. I'm at work and uh, I open it up and look. It's a 1981, I think from Kenner, apple dumpling, strawberry shortcake, especially vintage, is going nuts right now. I sold a little pair of TT strawberry shortcake overalls for $90 last week. So uh, I think I'm going to put her up as an auction. Uh, I haven't run an auction yet on eBay. I'm going to start it Thursday night. It looks like that's probably the best time to start them, it's a 10 day auction. Uh, well, that's what Google says anyway. You know, I always listen to Google. Here, let's let's let Bob hang out up here. Okay, there we go. Now, little Highland cow with his tam on. He's a keel toy. I won't be getting rid of him. I love Highland cows. And in the theme of cows, we have a Chick-fil-A cow. This silly looking guy who... His neck's a little, little floppy, but I think that's probably normal for them. I don't know. He is a Siggy Kid. Um, I looked him up. Also worth a little bit. The first one I had pulled out when I opened the bag was this. It is a Jim Henson Fraggle Rock Doozer. And it's in horrible shape. But he still had his tag. Like, that's crazy, right? I'm assuming the strawberry shortcake and the doozer probably came together. A little pebble beach teddy bear. This guy, I mean, I assume he's just like a claw game bear. You know, they can't all be winners. The winner of the entire bag, though. It is a with tag 2015 I think his name's Arnie the uh, anteater or something I looked it up and now I've forgotten his name but yeah so he was retired in 2015 he is in wonderful shape oh I think he is also going up at auction on Thursday because those both look like they're doing really good. Okay, so the, the second bag, not as impressive. It has this cute little guy. It's a tic-tac toy. Got a, a little mermaid from Aurora. And just a llama with bunny ears. A little moosey from Dandy. There are a couple Dandies in here, actually. Uh, this little dandy collector's choice unicorn and this is a kelly toy a little pink rabbit this was the one i saw in the bag which made me get it because i just love teddy bears and it's dressed like a giraffe it's not really probably worth anything it's play i don't know what does that say plush land whatever hello rottweiler and this cute, cute little soft bunny. Its tag is worn out, so we'll have to look that up. Um, anybody want a thrift store pacifier? And this soft little bear, which is Hitler. Oh, sorry. The best thing in there. Hey, hey, from Milana. And a pig in a blanket. So that's the second bag. Not as impressive as the first, obviously, but 
I had to oh, do a screen grab for the thumbnail. Um, I had to go back and get more bags because if somebody donated those, maybe they had a whole collection and I wanted to see. So we're going to open this. I haven't seen inside them yet. Okay, so the back of the car is full of bags and uh, we're going to grab them and open them and hopefully not make this too long. This one, oh, and, uh, so at Park Avenue, they have the color, the new color of the week, and that's the only one that's full price if you get the text messages. So you can go online to sign up for it. If you're in the area that has a Park Avenue, there's some in Georgia and then the one here. But this was a half price. So, so yeah. And then if you spend $25 or more during the week, then you get a coupon to have for Sunday. So everything will be 50% off. And of course that's a little All right, so this one was $2.50. Little teddy bear. Another little youth little Valentine's teddy bear. Oh, I got a cute little cat. Doesn't seem to have any little brand. RMS International. What? He's got a really long tail. And he's sparkly. And my grandbaby. A little bunny rabbit. Uh, Tom's Toy International. I mean, I assume claw game. We have Disney's Pixar Soul. Oh, that kitty cat's got a dirty tail. It needs to be cleaned up. Uh, yacht Toy. Also needs a bath, but definitely worth a look up. And of course, I have a three-year-old granddaughter. Bluey was in there. I had to get it. And the cutest little dinosaur ever. And, uh, I don't know. Embracing Change Button-Eyed Spiritual Flock Collector Series. It's a little bath, but maybe there's a market for that. I don't know. It's a little bag. Um, I'm going to pause it and get these put away so there's not a complete mess in here. Oh, I didn't pause. That's fun. All right. Another bag. This one was originally $5.45. So, uh, $2.70 something. Three. Her. The other one was so much easier to untie. It seemed to come right open. There you go. All right, we have a Grimmy special. I don't know. Flea's on board. Uh, he's funny, so I'm gonna assume. And he seems to be lifting his leg. Funny is good. Uh, another Valentine's bear. Um, Equestria girl. A poo. He was not impressed. A little Valentine's elephant. A lot of Valentine's in here. Um, I do not know what this does, but it's got batteries. So, I guess we'll see if that works. It's got, I was trying to see if there is an on off. Who knows? It's got a little wire in its tail. Christmas bear thing. And green briar. Horrible. Little. Al, Yoohoo and Friends. Told you they're not all winners. A red Valentine monkey. God, this bag is full. A really old Thai rover. Ooh. 
I mean, I know he's clearly definitely worth ten thousand dollars or five, but he looks like he's one of the older, more original ones, so he might be worth ten. Who knows? We'll look him up. A uh, little weighted bottom shelf sitter decor thing. A sad little tiny levy. Main Street Collection. It's so tiny. A 2017 toy mail. <laughs> funny. I like funny. I don't know what he is. A Siberian Husky BMI merchandise. This one. I don't know what he does. He's got batteries and his head is clearly animated in some way. Let's see if... Oh, it's a baby. That is slightly terrifying, but also adorable. I think the grandbaby is uh, going to love this one if nobody else does. Close it up. And more stuff. A little pumpkin panda head. Littles by Bella Handmade. Don't know if that's something that other people would know about. Or if it's a local thing. And another little keychain thing with the little sequins that go up and down. Alright. And that is the end of that bag. That was a lot of stuff, y'all. I mean, most of it, not amazing. But, I mean, if you get three things that are worth putting on eBay, absolutely worth it. And if you find some stuff for the grandbaby to play with, even better. I still have three more bags and my battery is at 15% because I don't plan ahead. Um, I'm just trying to close this bag off so we could grab another one. And I thought I would just go ahead and put it back on while I did that and it wouldn't be too bad. But another one that was 5.45. Jam packed full. Okay, so you can't open the bags in there. So you just have to kind of guess you can see some of the tags. But like I said, when I went back in, I just grabbed all the ones that I did not get the night before. Because, of course, I was there late and I closed it out. So I knew there were some bags left. And so I went back and I got all the bags of plush that were left. Just in case the same person had donated. We have a... Tennessee State University Tiger. Um, I don't know. I'm in North Mississippi. We're just below the University of Memphis, but I don't I don't know where Tennessee State is. So a little Oshkosh Bagosh with its tag. A Between the Lions. Get wild about reading. It's got a bookmark. That's cute. We have My Little Pony, a little Christmas plushy pony. <laughs> what is this? It's an angry, it's an angry M&M. What does it do? Swarmies. Accidentally released from their tubes, the Swarmies have a mischievous fun mission to bypass adults and fly into kids' mouths. Together they can form into objects to trick the red and yellow M&Ms. Characters, red and yellow M&M characters who want them back in their tube. This is Orville Orange. He might look mean, but under that hard candy shell, he's really sweet. I've never heard of Swarmies. Good old Earth Day 2000, I'm assuming, Beanie Baby. 
Millennium date of birth, January 1st, 1999. A brand new century has come to call. Health and happiness to one and all. Bring on the fireworks and all the fun. Let's keep the party going till 2001. A Russell Stover candies. I love chocolate. And who doesn't? I was having to smell my chocolate. A, another Thai Beanie Baby Angel. Uh, let's see. This one's name is Halo. August 31st, 31st, 1998. So, long story short. My husband went to get me a birthday cake. It was like my 23rd birthday or something. And they wrote on it, Happy 23rd or 25th or whatever the birthday was. It, they, they messed it up. So it is automatically in my head to mess them up when we get them. Russell Stover. A cute little Valentine puppy. Lots of Valentines in these. Clearly those aren't from the cool guy. All right, we got a Columbus Zoo and Aquarium puppet. I guess he comes back in here, like a little hides down in. Cute. Only you. Only you. Mm. That's not the cutest bear I've ever seen. Star gifts. All right, we got a little chickadee, little chick. Just a chick. Another beanie baby, of course. This one is date of birth 1693. Her name's Patty. Ran into Patty one day while walking. Believe me, she wouldn't stop talking. Listened and listened to her speak. That would explain her extra large beak. Oh, Patty. And another little big eyed thing. Another sequin bear. Grandbaby will play with that, I'm sure. And a wish pet that needs a little bath. I'm assuming it was on a lollipop. So, that's all that bag. I'm not sure if we're going to make it through the other two bags before my battery dies. This one was uh, a big one. 656. I'm assuming because it had Spongebob in it. I don't know how they figure out their pricing. It seems pretty random anyway. So we have a Spongebob with pink hair. I assume I have just haven't seen that episode. Punk Spongebob. A. Go for the plushiest choice. That does not seem super plushy to me. Don't know what he is. Maybe he's something. Toxic waste bear. We have a sock monkey stocking. I don't know if he is official or just a knockoff sock monkey. Oh, nope, he is an official sock monkey from Dandy. Okay, he might be something. We have the Broncos 50th Super Bowl champion monkey plush. I don't know what that has to do with the Broncos, but okay. A little monkey forever collection little bear. No idea. Las Vegas monkey. I also another hanger. This person love monkeys. We have a gorilla with a banana. From Bananas for You, it says on the back of this tag. 50th Super Bowl. A tiger. A sad, sad little tiger. It is a Kelly toy tiger. Oh, this person with their monkeys. What is the? I, I don't. The A's maybe. I don't know. NHL. It's um. Uh, the Avalanche. I, I don't know what this is. 
All right, we have a Monsters, Inc. Little Link Monster. And another Rudolphy keychain. This is Spike. He's a Monsters. Spike. Monsters. Oh, you can't. I can't get my finger out of the way. It says Monsters on it. All right, one more bag. All right, last bag. This one was $5.45. Got some babies in it. Some stuff. Like I said, their pricing system is completely arbitrary. And I'm not going to complain. I have found some amazing stuff at this place. All right, we got a little bunny rabbit. Just an old bunny. Uh, a little Melissa and Doug baby doll. Selkie. Um, I don't know if this goes to run these and clean them up and let the grandbaby have at them. Victoria's Secret pink. Got all its tags at least. A slap bracelet plush toy hammerhead shark. You know, like all this, all like all the sharks have. Little bunny rabbit, uh, green briar, green briar, a lamb, another little lamb, another little bunny, uh, green briar also. I guess I could lock those up as a little green briar Easter thing. Another bunny. Are there like? Oh, okay, so pink and blue, two little lammies, a bigger lammy. I got another Melissa and Doug, but this one's a little puppy dog, and a Squishmallow, Luther. He's a sneezy shark, apparently. And that's it. So all total, I think I spent like $22 on all of these. So I can at least make back $22. And the grandbaby is going to have fun playing with some stuff. So we'll call it a win. Um, a lot of stuff needs to get washed. And we'll see how it goes. I was hoping to find more of the really cool stuff. I was hoping my husband and I like to t was we're talking and he was talking about like people. He's like, "Well, find me some GI Joes." I have not found any people donating their GI Joe collections. I'm sorry, but so I was thinking about collections, and I thought, well, if that person on that first bag had donated their whole collection, there could have been some amazing stuff in there. Oh, I did get another thing. It's a, a walking and roaring Woody. Maybe I'll get some video of that and I'll include it here at the end. It was a dollar. It was a dollar ninety one originally, but half price. So really cute. Um, I guess I'll let y'all know. I'm gonna try to start doing what solds. I'm really bad about letting stuff go to the last minute. Yesterday I had five packages go off. I finally sold my pair of Doc Martens, a pair of Coach tennis shoes. Um, poetic license wedge heels and two tops and I'm waiting on someone to pay for a uh, offer that they that I accepted from them for a pair of Adidas and a really good sales weekend for me I'm just starting out I, just, I started last May but I've just really in the last month started trying to really get listing because my money pile is a money mountain I have way more time to source than I do to actually list them because when I'm at home the grandbaby wants to be with me I got stuff to do it's hard to prioritize going and listing the stuff over spending time with the baby obviously and then I'm exhausted or I'm at work because I work graveyard hours so getting out of the house for an hour or two to do a source is so much more doable than staying at home and spending an hour or two listing. And I'm really trying to flip that around. I have a shed where I can go and do that stuff in, in the backyard. 
So hopefully separating that from the house will make it easier for me to accomplish. But I'm not sure that's going to be true. So far, so good. I did not list last night. I fell asleep getting the grandbaby to bed. I had baby snuggles and it was way more important than getting my five things listed. So maybe we'll uh, get some of this plush listed today and uh, call it good. All right. Thanks for watching. Which one's your favorite? Which one would you love to snuggle? Let me know.